All right, hello, hello. This is the video for MyFitnessPal. I wanna run through how to uh, operate MyFitnessPal with you, uh, but if you are somebody who already has a really good grasp on MyFitnessPal, you're very confident with it, then please be my guest. You can go ahead and just skip this training. If not, then this video is for you. All right, so of course you'll sign up for MyFitnessPal, do the free version, there's no need to do premium, please don't bother with that. Um, you're just gonna have some ads here and. Who cares, right? So uh, what I want to do is go to the home screen and then down on the bottom, on the bottom here, you're going to see to the left, sorry, to the right of home is diary. And so this is where you can add your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, snacks, even exercise and water. Um, next to that, we've got the plus sign. This is a quick uh, access button to get to the food, to exercise, to water, weight, adding things in. Uh, it's just a, another way to go. Um, and keep in mind that different phones might have a different display for MyFitnessPal, um, but generally speaking, they're going to function pretty similarly to each other. So this should hopefully help get you through no matter what display you're looking at. All right, so I'm gonna go to the next um, option next to, or should I say to the right of that big blue plus sign is progress. This will show my progress over time, and then to the right of that, I've got more. So more is gonna give us a whole bunch of options here. All right, let's go back to the basics real quick. I'm gonna hit diary down on the bottom left. And then here, this will be a good place to uh, quickly add uh, my food for the day. So as you'll notice on the top of my screen, there's calories remaining. Uh, my target is 2,740 calories. That's based on the data that I've got entered in here. Um, yes, for a male who's weighing 178 pounds, who's um, fairly active. Yeah, that's how much, how many calories it would take me to break even. In other words, to stay the same weight. All right, so just keeping that in mind. And as I add food, uh, what's gonna happen is that's gonna show up in this food category near the top. And then it'll do the math for me here to find out how many calories I've got remaining. So that's a pretty helpful tool. Now, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go ahead and add breakfast. So add a food is what I'll click. Now I've got options here. Uh, scan a meal, I'm actually not too familiar with that one, to be honest with you. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've used my fitness pal, so that's a new thing to me. But to the right of that is scan a barcode. That's a super helpful tool. So I'm gonna actually click that. All right, so what happens is it asks to access your camera and then you give it access to your camera. And then you're going to go ahead and let it scan a barcode of whatever it is that you are having, right? So there we go. I've got a serving, one bottle. That's how much I drank of this thing. Number of servings is one. And if I care to see the nutrition data, there it all is. I've got my, the most important things are the calories, the fat. And then I go down to the carbohydrates in the middle of the screen, 18 grams. And then there's also protein, 25 grams. So this is a very good option for us here. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, and that's that's what I can do just to kind of test out uh, the food to see if it fits what I'm trying to do. And this one's looking good. I already consumed it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark at the top of the screen on the right. Add food, boom, there we go. So now you'll see it has updated my equation near the top. Now I've got 2,550 calories remaining. So I just wanna keep doing this as I go through the through my day. Add food for breakfast or for lunch or for dinner. And the neat thing is, as you uh, start accumulating data in here and uh, common meals and stuff, when you click this add food button, you're gonna have other options that are, um, say, recent history for you, um, for what you've added in the past. So you'll see down here, history below, I've got jumbo dog with everything, two of those. Yeah, yeah, definitely I've had that. So <laughs> you'll see that, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly in here. Um, but what you can do is, the nice thing is it logs those things, because oftentimes as creatures of habit, we eat the same foods a lot. So what you'll have is uh, the past things that you've eaten, so you can quickly click those and add those in very easily. So let's say sourdough bread. One slice, number of servings, one. Well, let's just say my serving size is one slice, but I actually had two, two servings. I'll click that and then I'll change that to two and then click the check mark. And then up at the top, 
hit the check mark again to enter it in there. Okay, now it's added into my equation. That's my food for the day so far. So that's uh, what we've got going on here in terms of entering your food. Of course, do the same for lunch, for dinner, and for snacks. And that's the main, quick, most important uh, functions for you. Now, of course, there are more advanced uh, things for you to explore here as well, which I'll go into now. We've got, let's just go back to this breakfast added. Okay. We, near the top, let's say, let's say we don't have a barcode. Um, let's say our food is an apple. So I'm going to click in the search bar. And then here I've got a whole bunch of options for apples. So I like the green check mark. That green check mark tells me it's verified. So this is a good option. Now, one medium apple at 95 calories, that's, you know, let's take this with a grain of salt because the, the different types of apples are going to have different type, uh, different calorie uh, counts. And of course, what's a medium apple versus what's a small or a large apple. So keep those things in mind as you're choosing the foods that you're eating. You want to make sure you're close to um, the right, as close as possible, or should I say as accurate as possible to what you're actually consuming. Now, I want you to see up here, Above the apple here, it says best matches. And I look to the right of the screen, it says there's the check only. You can uncheck that or check that and you'll get different options, right? So just as a heads up, you can use, use that to help sort out your uh, search results. So let's say I click the apple, it says one medium. Let's say I had 0.5, click 1.5, check, and good to go. Now enter. As you can see, there's dip. Plenty of ways to make sure that you're getting the right information plugged into your MyFitnessPal. Um, I wanted to add one, touch base on one more um, advanced technique up here, which is, let's say I've got the search bar now, and then below this search bar, there's all, there's my meals, my recipes, my foods. So you can create foods and recipes and meals in here so that you can remember, or should I say, have those handy for when you um, want to just put that meal in on a regular basis, as opposed to every single time, adding the both pieces of bread, adding the peanut butter, and adding the jelly. So this is my, my PB&J, I probably added in there like 15 years ago, but it's there. So now I can go ahead and click that and bring that up as an option, okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you. We're gonna go back now, and we're gonna click this uh, plus button. Um, just This is just another avenue to get you to that same place where you can add food, you can add your weight and track that, um, track your water and your exercise if you'd like. All right, but let's go scroll, uh, scroll along to the uh, far right on the bottom to the more button. I'm going to click more and from here you'll notice this is my profile uh, or sorry, this is a big list of options. Now I'm going to scroll down here. I want to click goals. This is something that I would like you to see is goals. So here, uh, it should show your starting weight. It should show um, what your current weight is and what your goal weight is. Um, you can click and change your current weight. You can click and change your goal weight. And of course, your weekly goal, what you want to do. Do you want to maintain? Do you want to lose or gain? But I don't encourage you to change your goal. Um, I should be setting that stuff for you. You should have that um, set in your app, I should say. Okay. Um, otherwise, if if not, then of course you can do that here through this app. Um, activity level, you do want to be accurate with this because that is very important for calculating the appropriate amount of calories. Don't try and game the system, okay? Do not try to game the system. Don't say you're not very active when you go out and run three miles a day, okay? Um, so let's make sure that we are uh, correct when choosing the level of activity. And then, um, of course your weight, feel free, adjust accordingly. And of course your goal weight, feel free and adjust that accordingly. Now, um, to go to an advanced level, I'm going to go down here a little bit, see the top of the screen now where it says nutrition goals. I'm going to click calorie, carbs, protein, and fat goals. So here, it already gives me a good rough estimate of what I should be eating. Now, I'm going to leave it there for the sake of this video. 
but you can alter and edit these. I don't encourage you to do so unless I teach you to do that yourself. You can modify these a little less pro carbs, a little more protein, a little more fat, etc., etc. But you see down at the bottom, it adds 110%. Oh, we don't want that. Now we're at 100%. Okay, check. And I changed those things uh, in a strategic way. I don't encourage you to be all willy-nilly about uh, picking random um, macronutrient uh, splits there. So let's be very careful with that. All right, so going back, now we're going to go back again. I would like to scroll down a little bit here. At the top of the screen now, you'll see nutrition with a pie chart. So I'm going to click that. Now here, you'll see what my breakdown is for today. And this is important. You want to know kind of what your day is looking like so you can plan accordingly as the rest of your day goes on. So you saw my uh, Chobani complete uh, protein um, smoothie that I added in there earlier. You saw that I added in an apple, 1.5 apples and two pieces of sourdough bread. Is that actually what I ate? No, but that's not the point. The point here is to see what in the world that my breakfast is made up of. Here I've got carbohydrates, 95 grams. That's a total of 70, 69% of my calories uh, for the day. And then my fats are pretty low, 5 grams. And that's 8%. You'll see my protein is 31 grams, which is 23% of what I've consumed today. So I'm a little low on my protein. I'm a little high on my carbs. Goal is to end the day with those ratios that are set. So um, hopefully that You'll find that to be quite helpful. By the way, looking at the top of the screen where uh, it says nutrition, below that there's three uh, options. There's calories on the left, nutrients, and macros on the right. And so we want macros. That's where we are, and that's how we see this, as opposed to nutrients, which this one is only moderately helpful, and calories is not really what we're looking for. Um, I mean, we do want to track calories, but that's easy, easy to do back on your, we'll say your home screen or in your diary, you'll see it near the top of the screen. So we don't necessarily need to go to those, that pie chart to track your calories. Okay. But macros, we do need to. So I encourage you to use this, uh, option to check out your macros and see where you're at, uh, at the end of the day. And as you're getting to the end of the day, uh, maybe even along the way, but anyway, I hope that you found this helpful. Those are the main things. All the rest of the stuff, like you don't necessarily need to bother. Um, there's apps and devices you can connect things up to here. But, um, you know, this is just extra. So don't need to get too, too carried away. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've got for you. Those are the most important factors or uh, tools that you're going to need for your MyFitnessPal. Hope this was helpful. And... I look forward to uh, seeing you make your changes here. Let's go ahead and be very careful about tracking and let's uh, get a good feel for what you're doing with your nutrition and then uh, we'll modify and adjust accordingly over time because that's what the whole point is to doing this. All right, let's do it.